Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how you can add music to your videos inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. So here in the timeline I already have a stock clip. You can see that it has not just video, but also some audio, some background audio. And we want to make sure that when we add the music to the video that we want to preserve that. So let's go ahead and play back a little bit of the clip without music on. OK, and so we can just look at our clip, get an idea of what kind of music might fit that. And then there are many resources on the Internet we can use for finding music if you need to, one of which is incompetech.filmmusic.io. So the music here by Kevin McLeod is published under Creative Commons Attribution License, which means that in order to use it in your videos, you have to give a link back to the site to the song and basically credit the author. So if we come to a site like this, we can try to find some background music. I'm going to go ahead and play this audio clip back a little bit and see if this music suits our video. So I'm going to go ahead and click the download button here, hit choose free license. And you'll notice here attribution is required. So it basically means you need to put the right credits in the YouTube description. So when you accept that license, this is what they're talking about here. So what I would typically do is control C this and then paste it into a sticky note like this and then just include that in the description before you publish your video. So I've already downloaded the song. It's on the desktop. So if we want to bring it into the project, we have a couple ways of doing that. One is we could go up to the file menu, hit import media and then locate it on the desktop, this MP3 file right here. Another is that if you find a file on your computer, you can just drag and drop them into the media pool of DaVinci Resolve, just like you can also do that with video. And sometimes that might actually be the quicker way to do it. Okay, so now that we have this music track inside of our project, we want to make sure that it goes on audio track two, so that it doesn't overwrite anything on audio track one. You got to split up your audio into different tracks if you want them both to play back at the same time. So you can see I already have an audio track two here. If you don't see one, you can right click uh, below audio track one in the audio section, go to add track and then stereo for two channel audio. As an alternative, you can just drag your music clip into the timeline. And if you hover it right around here below audio track one, even if you don't have audio track two created, it'll give you the preview of automatically adding it in for you. So let's just drag and drop it right there at the start. And we can see that the volume levels uh, based on these audio waveforms are very different between the music and the background noise. So we would want to go back a little bit, um, hit play and test to make sure that the background audio, the noises of the forest aren't too quiet compared to this music. So let's go ahead and hit play here and test that out. Okay, and we can listen and kind of hear the background music's pretty loud. We could also see in the mixer in the bottom right hand corner, if you had that open, audio track two is going way higher than audio track one, meaning the music is basically louder than the uh, forest noises. So if we want to adjust the audio on an individual clip, we can left click on those clips and then lower the volume down. So with the music selected, I can make that quieter by dragging this down in terms of audio decibels. And we could also make the forest noises louder, clicking on the audio track one clip and increasing the volume here as well. Now, if you want to increase or decrease the volume for everything on a track, you may have many different cuts here, many clips, then you can raise or lower it in the mixer for audio track one, audio track two by lowering or raising this bar. So that'll apply to every clip inside of here. And you can also individually make adjustments on the clip still. So they kind of add together. If you lowered a clip here by five decibels and increase the entire track by five decibels in the mixer, it would kind of come out to a wash. The last thing we probably need to do is assuming that this was the full duration of our video and we just have this trailing music track, we might want to cut the music off short so that the video can actually end. So I'm going to go right here to the end of our actual video part, hit B to go into edit mode, hit B to go into slice mode, hit B to go into blade or slice mode, pick a part of our music where we want the video to end, and then left click right around here to cut the rest of the music track off from the video. Now I can select it with left click and remove it with control X or delete. The last thing we're probably going to need to do here is to make sure that this music can fade out because we cut the music track off in the middle, which means that it's not going to sound great if it just ends abruptly. So a quick way of doing that is to drag this white notch over here to the left. 
So this is going to basically make the audio fade out over the duration of where this um, white notch is basically positioned at. So you can see this is negative two seconds and 20 frames. If you have a 30 frames per second video, that would be two thirds of a second. We can just kind of go to uh, negative three to see roughly how many frames per second we're dealing with. So yeah, 30. And another way, if we return this to its original position, is we can right click on the edge of a audio track or really a video track as well. And we can add a crossfade. So a one second crossfade in a 30 frames per second video is going to be 30 frames. If we want it to take two seconds to fade out the music, then we do 60 frame crossfade. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we can just make sure that that music fade out from the video looks good. So let's come over about here where we're at the end of our video. Hit play, just test it, make sure everything sounds good. So if you think that the music track matches the feel of your video, your audio levels are pretty well matched with each other. You can still hear the background noise from your original video clip or dialogue, whatever you need to, that the music track isn't too overbearing, then you're pretty much going to be good to go here. So that in a nutshell is all you need to do in order to add music to your videos inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. Just remember if you are using other people's music that there may be licenses associated with that. So in this case, I'm going to be putting uh, a link to this music track in the description of this video. But aside from that, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I've been Chris and hopefully I'll see all of you in my future video content.